Yeah, okay, on today's rat shoe, I put a video on the basics of rat shooting would hopefully, for any newcomers to the sport, the hobby of rat shooting, a few simple tips. Now, I don't profess to be an expert on rat shooting. Uh, that's why I'm calling the video basics, basically. So I just know the basics. Just some tips that do work for me. And also some of the problems I do have, or I have had, with liquidised bait. So, if you're an experienced rat pest controller, you're really not going to learn much here. Head to the 9 minute and 20 second ish mark in the video for the rat shooting segment bit. But, if you are a seasoned rat pest controller, watch the full video on any tips. I'm always on the lookout for any tips. Uh, do leave them in the comment box below. And um, I may even use them in the next and up and coming videos on the rat pest control. So, really, I'm just begging for tips, really. <laughs> so, if you've got any good tips, like I say, leave them at the bottom. So, rat shooting, tricky at times, can be frustrating, but highly addictive. Placing that perfect shell on a twittery target can be difficult at the best of times. So we're going to look at certain tips to try and make your rat shooting that little bit easier. Now wrecking those rat runs, now figuring out the coming and goings of the rats is one thing you want to do. Placing of any liquidised bait on these rat runs, hopefully making him pose long enough for that head shot. Now liquidised bait versus solid baits. Now why liquid is better than solid baits, we shall be taking a look at that. I've got some footage coming up with the rats scarpering off with solid baits. The benefits of static shooting and best times of day. And be taking a look at why headshots are better, in my personal opinion, are better than chest shots. I'll go for that clean kill. Now on this particular shoot, down both sides we have a well used runs, holes 4 to 5 inches wide and smoothed earth where the rats keep going backwards and forwards between the feeding areas. Now the rats from the steel container use this as a shortcut, you can clearly see the worn down grass well used rat highway this one. And this is where they're heading, the grain feeder. Now chicken grain and bread thrown out is the staple diet of these rats. Now coming up next, adapting solid baits and liquidised baits to place on these runs. So, the staple diet here is chicken grain and bread. Now, not ideal bait to get the rats to sit still long enough. So, looking at liquidised baits. Now, there are, there are so many variants and ingredients to choose from. Uh, you can try. So, down below in the description box are some of the liquid baits I have used in the past. Each liquid bait used, I had varied results, to be honest. And these baits were placed every day on the runs, even when not being shot on. So basically letting the rats get ample time to get used to the bait on the runs. Now here's why you should never really use solid baits. Now the rats will simply make off with it, take it under cover, pretty fast and agile as you can see. And making a safe, humane shot, virtually impossible. Moving target, any solid bait, they'll just ram it in the mouth and make off with it now liquid bait i used and to be honest this one in particular uh, was too runny i added way too much fish oil it basically seeped into the ground most of the bait now showing a good example of a liquidized bait uh, thanks to tim spike davis for the footage for allowing me to show it uh, as you can see with liquid soft baits the rats will sit 
and lick it up, making a nice steady sitting target. Right, so back to my shunt. Now after having a mixed results with various liquid baits, I decided to look at the two main food sources these fellas were heading for. So we've got chicken grain and white bread. Now as a solid bait, not good. The chicken grain can be ground down with oil and made into a paste or just simply soaked. Now the bread can also be soaked in oil, which I've done in the past, but the rats seeing the square shaped bread will still try and make off with it. Now I have found drying the bread out making it easier to crumble, getting it down to small crumbs. Now, it can be time consuming, so I'll basically do what I did, get married and get the wife to do it. Winner. Now there are drawbacks even with crumbled bread. As you can see this little chap here isn't content to sit and happily eat it and rather shove his face full and bugger off with it. Now I did keep slightly still where I could have been able to take that shot but really want him sitting. Now here's Tim again using the crumbly bread to good effect. Now fair size right so Good shooting from tip. Now on this shoot, I simply place baits out on the runs. Roughly 30 yards to each bait, which is my zero on the rifle. So no old under or over needed. Simple shooting. Now shooting off a bipod with the HW100, pellet on pellet is pretty easy. Now factoring in the skitty nature of the wrap, Remember, headshots on the rats, target size is roughly the size of a pea, or call it 18mm, if my measuring is right. Now, between the eye and ear is the target area. So with my zero set, it takes the guesswork out of each shot I do. Just need those rats to stay still long enough, that's the hard part. Now, headshots versus chest shots. I found even with clean headshots, rats will sometimes kick, spasm, uh, tough little fellas. Now with chest shots, I do think there's more margin for error. Missing vital areas, art and lung shot, allowing the rat to suffer while at best bleeding out. Now with an headshot between the eye centre or between eye and ear is a definite dispatch. No suffering for the rat. So for me, headshots all the way. Like I said earlier, if you're capable of hitting pea-sized targets, pellet on pellet, at whatever distance you're shooting at, headshots are pretty easy. Here's the rifle I use on the shoots. It's a Virog HW100, standard Hummel version in 22 calibre. Straight out of the box, accuracy. Now I'm getting good groupings using field target trophy. Now the magazines, the 14 shot magazines, are, in my opinion, the best rotary magazine ever invented. Simple design, foolproof, well made, never experienced cycling problems using these magazines excellent loading system on the HW100 so that was just a quick look at the rifle now okay final part in the video with the rat runs identified we have tried different baits I'm zeroed at 30 yards time to thin the rats on this particular shoot so I shall put a cork in it and be quiet I've said enough enjoy the shoot
okay so that's the basics video all wrapped up hopefully some tips there even with my limited knowledge below in the description box you will find some liquidized recipes for you to try on your wrap permissions now for me the best tip I could really give even before you consider the fancy liquidized recipes below to try and entice the rats first I would look at the bait the rats are feeding on first look at the reason why the rats are there in the first place so whatever bait they're being enticed to look at liquidizing it if you can out of all the baits I have tried I just cannot beat the soaked chicken grain and the crumbled bread now okay the crumbled bread does have its weaknesses absolutely useless if it gets wet so if you're shooting in the rain and the rats still tend to rush and eat it and make off with it it is a work in progress as we go on with the breaded bait and hey any tips are welcome what works for you i am interested in to know and i shall steal <laughs> and uh, you just may appear in the next video so any tips is greatly appreciated guys now the next video in the series we will be incorporating more cameras trying to get the rat's viewpoint and the video is being edited as i speak and it's turning out to be an interesting video so please stay tuned for that and finally can i say a big thanks to the subscribers you're all appreciated thanks very much so until next time catch you later